welcome to the Unpossible Stand-Up Challenge. Hi, my name is Ellen Lian, and I'm the executive director of Unpossible Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, Unpossible is an organization that came out of the success of the RPM Challenge here in town. Every week we've had open mics where people can sign up and get up, and it's kind of like a a bit of a bomb shelter, you know, it's like, it's, it's a very friendly room, everybody's kind of rooting for you, you don't, doesn't really matter if you don't make people laugh that much, uh, it's really fine. I saw, I got really mad, I went to a museum and there was a 16 foot black canvas. It was $35,000. Um, it's been a mix of uh, experienced comedians and uh, beginners. So the experienced comics are here and they're able, they're giving advice to uh, the beginners uh, who do go up and it's really, it's, it's just a natural thing to do. I'm Doug Lehman. Okay, you're just about to go on stage, so how are you feeling? I feel wonderful. You feel wonderful? Really? Yeah, I feel like a million bucks. What's your routine going to be? I mean, don't tell me everything, but uh, just hint, I guess, give me a hint. Um, I, I don't really know yet. We're going to find out when we get there. Are you serious that you have not planned anything? I planned some things, but I don't remember them very well, so it's mostly going to be exciting. And you've never done this before? No. Are you feeling nervous at all? Uh, I guess a little bit, but like... But you need that. Yeah, it's okay. It feels good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Um, so have any of you guys like seen comedy before? Anyone here? <laughs> heard of it? Okay, good. Great start. Um, when I was a child, I used to see the comedians on TV, and I didn't understand that they had prepared an act. I thought that they were just a person who had a lot to say, and they were on stage and they just told me their thoughts. So in that spirit... Um... All right, so first time up there, how did, uh, how did you feel about it? Oh, I felt uh, wonderful. Good. You felt wonderful. You, you, you were very natural. Yeah, it was, it was a great time. I was ill-prepared, but I had fun. I, 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 I felt kind of like, a, like I did the audience a disservice by not preparing enough, though. That's oh, really? What do you mean, though? I, 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 think, I think that you got to give them a little bit more of your time at home, you know? Get ready. You're going to do five minutes. You need to give them at least five minutes at home. Is it nerve-wracking up there thinking that no one's going to find you funny? Uh, yeah, I guess so. But the thing I know is that if you really screw up bad and you're like, you're just terrible, like that can be funny for them. So it's okay. Uh, my name is Mark Plunko Walsh. Are you from here? In, are you no, from Newfoundland? I'm from Ireland. So what's your routine going to be now tonight? Like what, how did you write your routine? Or is it like just going to be off the cuff? Uh, it's kind of off the cuff. I have some notes here. Um, On your hand? My notes are Kanye, Emotion, Weather, Fish, and Africa. So okay. we'll see how it goes. Uh, don't be fooled by my entrance there. I'm super nervous. This is the first time I've done it. And I suffer from terribly low self-esteem. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and write this out on a wave of false confidence. And uh, hopefully that will just mask my uh, lack of talent. Uh, I call it the Kanye West approach. So are you happy with how it turned out? Yeah, it was excellent. I loved that everyone there was great. Like, you know, it's really tough to get up there and even do just five minutes, so. So you admitted to being nervous too. Was that something that helped you sort of get through it? Yeah, I feel like if you say, if you say to people that you're nervous, then they're more like on your side. And maybe it was like a sympathy, <laughs> a sympathy thing I was going for, like a few pity laughs, but uh, it worked. What if you had to go like witness the birth of your firstborn child, but you just didn't want to look at that? You know, like, just get a proxy. Oh, um, hi, my name's Avery Walker. Um, yeah, fourth time doing comedy. Well, I'm friends with a couple of comedians and I've been going to shows for a while now. Um, I also wanted to improve my public speaking skills, you know, get up there, get out there, face my fears, all that. It seemed really fun. It is really fun. It, it's just a good time, yeah. I went to, a, there was a story about a museum, and it was like a, a modern art museum, and someone dropped their glove. And then like two hours later, there's like a hundred people circling, oh, what does it mean? Click, click, oh, I think it represents the five fingers.
dangers of oppression. I... Uh, my name is Mike Hammond. So you've been doing this for quite some time. Uh, yeah, four years next week. Do you feel a certain um, like empathy towards people doing this for the first time? Do you kind of know exactly what they're going through, the kind of nerves and the possibility that you know it might not go over well? I think, uh, of course, it's always going to be nerve-wracking. It's always going to be uh, uh, terrifying your first time. But having this kind of, I don't want to call it a safety net because it's still intimidating, but having this kind of unrelenting support from the audience, I think is so good for fostering new stand-up in the St. John's. That's right, get your hopes up. <laughs> Whenever you're really afraid of something, and it's you know, objectively not that big of a deal, like it's not going to kill you, uh, you should probably try to do it. <laughs> you feel so good about yourself. Like, it's, it's just such a natural good thing to do for yourself. And it, you know, people can see you in a different light. I don't know. It's like, it's just a magical thing. It's like good for mental health. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a possible open mic. <laughs>